incredible edibles known for growing food in Todmorden. It was our anniversary. We have survived and grown for 10 years. So we thought that's really worth celebrating. So we thought we would have a, a party or a meal for all the volunteers. And Mary thought, no, we will have a four day festival. Um, and I said, hang on a minute, Mary, that's a bit big. And she said, well, you have to dream big, which is what Mary always says. And because this was going to be a festival of ideas, we thought the thing to do is to reach out further to bring more ideas in. Instead of just our ideas, lots of other people's ideas. So we put a little Facebook thing and we said, do you like uh, beauty and kindness? And people just started saying, yeah, I I'm willing to help. I like beauty and I like kindness. So we, we got a much bigger group of people and most of them people we'd never met before. And I arrived late at the first meeting and it was all in progress and then eventually someone said oh what are you doing here and I said well I've just come along I want to be involved in a project of kindness I'm quite good at organising things is that any good? So we were contacted by Mary Clear of Incredible Edible who asked if the UCVR would be interested in getting involved in the, uh, the Incredible Festival of Ideas. Our offer or our active role initially was to, to, to be the accountable body so we would look after the, any finances and, and apply for grants on behalf of the festival. We knew they'd done this great piece of work and I had some mutual contacts between the folk who'd helped me across in Scarborough and here in Hutton Tomodon. So I wanted to come and get it. I, when I first came here I knew this activity was taking place up there and I thought wouldn't it be a great opportunity to link what's going on in Tomodon with here down in the, uh, in the Peace Hall. So through some mutual contacts, the opportunity we started to discuss how we could connect the two places together. I, when I first started the Real Jumper Project back in 2013, I met Mary, um, I came to visit her, her in Todmorden. And since then we've never kept in touch. So for like over four years now, we've never really been in touch, but we've always been very close to each other in regards to the projects that we do. It was a no brainer really. Mary wanted to do this event. I had access to food and we wanted to feed as many people as possible to try and launch something in the valley in Calderdale. And it was just so wonderful sitting in a room with all these amazing minds, all as crazy as we were, not thinking we were crazy. And it just made the magic happen. It was such a brilliant six months of my life, really. The, the people who were involved were fantastic. And everybody was such an idealist about better ways to live. It was just enjoyable going to the meetings, you know, we never knew what was going to happen and what we'd do. And because it's such a subtly radical idea just to ask people to contribute what they know and what they want to show and offer to the world through kindness, with no money exchanged. For us, one of the things that came out of the, uh, the Festival of Ideas was um, the element of collaboration, a level of collaboration that we hadn't seen in the Valley perhaps since 2003. Uh, many groups that wouldn't perhaps normally work together came together. We then realised that actually there was more that we could do in terms of taking an active part in the festival. Um, at at uh, one of the earlier meetings it was discussed that they would perhaps like to run a resilience workshop. So we decided that that would actually be better if we combined that with the event that they were planning and that, was, that became our role, or one of our roles during the, during the festival was to put on All Things Resilience Conference. We do things slightly differently, so our festival didn't pay anybody, we paid for printing and things like this. So everybody worked for love, out of love, for our town, for something wonderful to happen. There were so many events and there were so many surprises. So wonderful things happened, we had a solstice ceremony with a a sun god uh, who turned out to be a local councillor who was a pagan priest. Seeing a whole parade of people carrying images of the sun uh, on the solstice was really very moving and lovely. All these things went on again no money changed hands everybody did everything for free. I saw the connections and I saw more um, more of what goes on that people don't realise being on show, you know, whether it was the Alternative Practitioners Day or the Food Day. I was really helping organise the Todd Talks and that was just so fantastic, hearing all this other stuff that was going on. 
that you would never generally get access to. There were some things like the Todd Talks, which were a, quite a unique set of ideas, bringing different people with different ideas together to, to talk to one, one community. Um, I think that will go forward as a legacy. What I really learned is that if you volunteer because it's something you want to do and you just do wholeheartedly, then you can just do what you like. You, um, that you're a joiner in a rather than a volunteer. You contribute what you already know and then you learn some new things and you meet new people. One of the things that the festival uh, provided was a real insight into sustainability of food resources and, and the waste of food that it brought us closer to other groups uh, and community groups that we can now look to do you know, more cooperative projects within the future. It was way above my expectations. We saw an extra 3,000 people through the door on that day that we would normally get. Um, there were 6,000 people came through the door and all together that day and a lot of them came to just be part of, the, uh, the, of that wonderful festival. So for us it was a great successful day. A lot of our businesses did very well out of it and a lot of our shops had a very busy day which is again which is great um, and a lot of new people came to the Peace Hall which we were absolutely delighted about and we've started to see new communities start using the Peace Hall which is just exactly why we did it. I've done events like this uh, like the Incredible Feast all over the country I've been to events where we fed thousands of people with surplus food and I know it can be achieved quite easily so I think the whole day was a catalyst um, to see what we could potentially achieve out off the back of this, what relationships would blossom, what connections could be made, you know, new networks of people coming together. The whole region came together, more than I've seen anywhere else. People gave kindness, they gave of themselves and started to understand what kindness truly means. And now it's made our town understand that little bit more and be that little bit kinder to each other and to the town. And I think that is our legacy. And then we planned to make sure after the fabulous feast, we would collaborate with the Real Junk Food Project to bring a food system into Calderdale. And we're really proud that Freegan boxes are being delivered in Todmorden, they're being delivered in Halifax, and a new warehouse has opened in Wakefield on a pay-as-you-feel basis. So we're really proud that we've built in something that will, by collaborating freely with others, that will benefit the people of Todmorden. We put a box together, um, it's a subsidy of a, of a week's worth of food for an average family of four and they contribute £10 to that to cover the costs which is obviously the processing, the delivery, the interception, the storage of it and we just said we'd launch it here, you know, once a week I'd, I'd come across, we had a base with a golden lion and, and, and gigs involvement there and we just said let's just see what happens and it's, it's been incredible, uh, if, you, if, you, if you excuse the pun where an average 30 people a week are getting a delivery now. Uh, it's around 300 kilos of food which has been diverted on average into families all across Todmorden. Uh, and that's off the back of that event. And the impact that's having is more and more people are being inspired by um, the fact that this surplus is there. Also the fact that they don't necessarily need to be poor or, or in need to have access to this food. I think it's really good. I never knew about it. I heard it from it on Facebook, but like, it's just, it's good how you get yeah. different ingredients every right. single week and you can, it encourages you to make new recipes with things that you've got and to not waste things because you've got things that are maybe going off a bit but you need to use them quickly. So yeah, I really like it. It's always a good variety of fruit and vegetables as well, which is cool. Um, I think it's an achievement that people like Gig and everybody else in here have got this idea of making boxes that you can provide to people who uh, get food for themselves. I think it's a fantastic idea. And I think it's just really inspired people to come together to say, you know, enough is enough now. We, we need to start making changes and we make that change by consciously making a decision about where we get our food from and what we're putting into our bodies. And the fact that more and more people are using this scheme that we've created uh, just kind of highlights the need that people want that change. But also people can have the power to, to uh, make changes with their feet you know, and not going to supermarkets and, and not going and, and spending money on this food that's completely unsustainable and out of season and instead coming to us and getting that food and diverting it from waste but also putting practical use to it 
and creating a community off the back of it, you know, sharing ideas and recipes and photos of what they're doing with their food. It's just very, very inspiring and empowering for the local people to feel like they can contribute to that bigger picture. So I've really learned a lesson that if you uh, can let go and trust people to interpret in their own ways, their own event, and then collaborate. And I've really learned the power of collaboration. That is the future because money does not buy results, collaboration and trust by results.